naphtha normally refers to a number of flammable liquid mixtures of hydrocarbons, that is a component of natural gas condensate or a distillation product from petroleum, coal tar, or peat boiling in a certain range and containing certain hydrocarbons. It is a broad term covering among the lightest and most volatile fractions of the liquid hydrocarbons in petroleum. Naphtha is a colorless to reddish-brown volatile aromatic liquid, very similar to gasoline. In petroleum refinery engineering, full-range naphtha is defined as the fraction of hydrocarbons in petroleum boiling between 30 AA degrees Celsius and 200 AA degrees Celsius. It consists of a complex mixture of hydrocarbon molecules generally having between 5 and 12 carbon atoms. It typically constitutes 15 a euro 30% of crude oil, by weight. Light naphtha is the fraction boiling between 30 AA degree Celsius and 90 AA degree Celsius and consists of molecules with 5 a euro 6 carbon atoms. Heavy naphtha boils between 90 AA degree Celsius and 200 AA degree Celsius and consists of molecules with 6 a euro 12 carbons. Naphtha is used primarily as feedstock for producing high-octane gasoline. It is also used in the bitumen mining industry as a diluent, the petrochemical industry for producing olefins in steam crackers, and the chemical industry for solvent applications. Common products made with it include lighter fluid, fuel for camp stoves, and some cleaning solvents. Light naphtha is also used directly as a blending component in the production of gasoline. Etymology, the word naphtha came from Latin and Greek where it derived from Persian. In ancient Greek, it was used to refer to any sort of petroleum or pitch. It appears in Arabic as uuuuro naphtha to the first, and in Hebrew as omicron degree neft. Persians have used and distilled petroleum for tar and fuel from ancient times, as attested in local Greek and Roman histories of the region. The second book of the Maccabes in the Septuagint, part of the Old Testament canon in the major Christian denominations, Latin and Greek Catholic, and Greek and Russian Orthodox, uses the word naphtha to refer to a miraculously flammable liquid. This account says that Nehemia and the Levitical priests associated with him called the liquid naphtha, meaning purification, but most people call it naphtha. Naphtha is the root of the word naphthalane. The second syllable of naphtha can also be recognized in phthalate. It also enters the word napalm from naphthenic acid and permitic acid, as the first napalm was made from a mixture of naphthenic acid with aluminium and magnesium salts of permitic acid. In older usage, naphtha simply meant crude oil, but this usage is now obsolete in English. The Ukrainian and Belarusian word th one half th degree nn th degree, Lithuanian, Latvian and Estonian naphtha. The Russian word th one half th micron n and o and the Persian naft mean crude oil. Also, in Italy, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Slovenia, Bulgarian nafta is colloquially used to indicate diesel fuel and crude oil. In the Czech Republic and Slovakia, nafta was historically used for both diesel fuel and crude oil, but its use for crude oil is now obsolete and it generally indicates diesel fuel. In Bulgarian, Nafta means diesel fuel, while neft, as well as petrol, means crude oil. Nafta is also used in Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay to refer to gasoline. In Poland, the word nafta means kerosene. There is a conjecture that the Greek word nafta came from the Indo-Iranian god name Apam Napat, which occurs in Vedic and in Avestic. The name means grandson of waters, and the Vedas describe him as fire emerging from water. Health and safety considerations, forms of naphtha may be carcinogenic, and frequently products sold as naphtha contain some impurities which may also have harmful properties of their own. Like many hydrocarbon products, they are products of a refining process in which a complex soup of chemicals is broken into another range of chemicals, which are then graded and isolated mainly by their specific gravity and volatility. There is, therefore, a range of distinct chemicals included in each product. This makes rigorous comparisons and identification of specific carcinogens difficult, especially in our modern environment where people are daily exposed to many such products, and is further complicated by exposure to a significant range of other known and potential carcinogens. Light naphtha, 
is a mixture consisting mainly of straight-chained and cyclic aliphatic hydrocarbons having from 5 to 9 carbon atoms per molecule. Heavy naphtha, a mixture consisting mainly of straight-chained and cyclic aliphatic hydrocarbons having from 7 to 9 carbons per molecule. Almost all volatile, lipid-soluble organic chemicals cause general, non-specific depression of the central nervous system or general anesthesia. The OSHAPELTWA equals 100 parts per million. Health hazards target organs equals eyes, skin, RS, CNS, liver, kidney. Symptoms of acute exposure are dizziness and narcosis with loss of consciousness. The World Health Organization categorizes health effects into three groups, reversible symptoms, mild chronic encephalopathy and severe chronic toxic encephalopathy. Topical exposure to naphtha can cause a burning sensation on the skin within a period of minutes to an hour, followed by contact dermatitis euro or asha euro that can last for days to weeks. Below are linked few material safety data sheet specifications for different naphtha products containing varying degrees of naphtha, as well as various other chemicals. As well as giving health guidelines, these are some of the few ways to determine what a given product contains. J.T. Baker VM and P. Naphtha MSDS. Diggers Shulite MSDS, Shell Ronsonol MSDS Source 1 formula developed for Ronson, links to more MSDS for various camping stove fuels including several that include naphtha. Benzene in particular is a known high-risk carcinogen, so benzene content is typically specified in the MSDS when it is present in the mixture due to the specifics of the feedstock and distilling process used. Specific detailing of other hydrocarbon species is less common. Naphtha is also extremely volatile and can explode on exposure to high temperature surfaces in 1999, such an explosion led to four deaths at the Avon Refinery in Martinez, California. Properties, physical, naphtha's molecular weight is 100 a euro 215 a gram per mole. Its density is 750 a euro 785 a kilogram per meter 3, and boiling point is 160 a euro 220 a a degree Celsius. Vapor pressure is less than 666 a par. Naphtha is colorless or red-brown liquid and is insoluble in water. It is incompatible with strong oxidizers. Production in refineries Naphtha is obtained in petroleum refineries as one of the intermediate products from the distillation of crude oil. It is a liquid intermediate between the light gases in the crude oil and the heavier liquid kerosene. Naphthas are volatile, flammable and have a specific gravity of about 0.7. The generic name naphtha describes a range of different refinery intermediate products used in different applications. To complicate the matter further, Similar naphtha types are often referred to by different names. The different naphthas are distinguished by density, PONA, PIONA or PENO analysis, measured by detailed capillary gas chromatography, paraffin content, isoprofin content, olefins content, naphthenes content, aromatics content. Different types, paraffinic, generally speaking, less dense naphthas will have a higher paraffin content. These are therefore also referred to as paraffinic naphtha. The main application for these naphthas is as a feedstock in the petrochemical production of olefins. This is also the reason they are sometimes referred to as light distillate feedstock, or LDF. When used as feedstock in petrochemical steam crackers, naphtha is heated in the presence of water vapor and the absence of oxygen or air until the hydrocarbon molecules break apart. The primary products of the cracking process are olefins. When naphtha is used as a feedstock in catalytic reforming the primary products are aromatics including benzene, xylene, and toluene. The olefins are used as feedstocks for derivative units that produce plastics, synthetic fiber precursors, industrial chemicals while the aromatics are used for octane boosting and fuel blending as well as polyethylene to rephthalate PET feedstock and paint and coating solvents. Heavy. The heavier, or rather denser types are usually richer in naphthenes and aromatics and therefore also referred to as N and AS. These can also be used in the petrochemical industry but more often are used as a feedstock for refinery catalytic reformers where they convert the lower octane naphtha to a higher octane product called reformate. 
Alternative names for these types are straight run benzene or heavy virgin naphtha. Other applications Naphthas are also used in other applications such as an unprocessed component in the production of petrol motor gasoline, industrial solvents and cleaning fluids, a commonly available general purpose solvent designated as BM and P naphtha, which stands for varnish makers and painters, an oil painting medium, the sole ingredient in the home cleaning fluid Energene, which has been discontinued, an ingredient in shoe polish, an ingredient in some lighter fluids for wick type lighters such as Zippo lighters, an adulterant to petrol, a fuel for portable stoves and lanterns, sold in North America as white gas, camp. Fuel or Coleman fuel, historically, as a probable ingredient in Greek fire, a fuel for fire spinning, fire juggling, or other fire performance equipment which creates a brighter and cleaner yet shorter burn. To lightly wear the finish off guitars when preparing relic instruments, as a coating for elemental lithium metal, to prevent oxidation, as a fuel and gas turbine unit, as the working fluid in the naphtha engine, as a cleaning solution for watch parts during servicing. In medieval times, pots containing naphtha were used in battle as a form of primitive grenade. In ancient China, monks used forms of naphtha to prepare in religious ceremonies such as kimbohdu. Naphtha is used in the furniture industry on works in progress to see temporarily how the patina will look when the piece is oiled and or aged. It is useful in matching adjacent boards for a join, primarily with tabletops, panels and shelves. Examples in daily life. Shelite, also known as white gas, Coleman fuel, or, outside the UK, as white spirit, is a white liquid with a hydrocarbon odor. She light has a freeze point lower than a 30 AA degree Celsius, and a boiling point of 47 AA degree Celsius. The composition of she light is 95% paraffins and naphthenes, less than 5% aromatic hydrocarbons and less than 0.5% benzene. It is highly flammable and due to its low flash point is used in many low pressure camping stoves. She light is also a fast drying solvent used for cleaning metal hard plastic and painted surfaces. See also, benzene, fluid catalytic cracking, gasoline gallon equivalent, n-hexan, naphthalane, oil refinery, olefin, petroleum naphtha, naphtha launch, charcoal lighter fluid, references. Further reading, McDermott, Henry J. A. Monitoring for Toxic Exposures John Wiley & Sons, Inc. External links Petroleum naphtha A Citizen Diem article. NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards from the U.S. National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Search a number of sites for MSDS, different names with different meanings in different countries, for some naphtha containing camping stove products. Cooper Basin Naphtha Manufacturers Description. Lists of many chemical manufacturers' MSDS sites. The Physical and Theoretical Chemistry Laboratory Oxford University Chemical and Other Safety Information, NLM Hazardous Substances Data Bank Euronaphtha